I think that activity needs to be mindful too. Yeah, and I'm, I mean, in a way, this whole conversation is driven around, are we pro or con, or are we for or against the idea that multitasking should be in a, in a healthy job requisition? Like, should somebody be expected to multitask? And I think really the, the summary is no, it shouldn't, because you should be not special, like you should be willing to do a wide range of activity to meet your objectives at work, but the work that you're expected to do should be cohesive and it should be consciously curated. And that doesn't mean it has to be falling within a narrow range of activities. It could be extremely broad range of activities, but it should be cohesive. It should never feel that you're juggling a bunch of things that don't have any relation to each other. I can't think of a single work scenario, a conscious work scenario. And I think that's a lot of what you've been articulating, Jonathan, where that was the case, where one would be expected to manage large numbers of work that have no relation to one another and, re and constantly require you to switch gears and skill sets almost entirely with no overlap. That wouldn't, that, I don't think that, that, that really helps harness people's ability to produce value. And it really doesn't help companies with, with productivity overall. I think, you know, looking at the, the individual, um, there's a book essentialism and I'm, do you know this book, Sam essentialism? Uh, never heard of what? Never heard of that one. Essentialism. So it, it's basically the, it, the, there's several ideas in it. Uh, one of which you are definitely a, a major proponent of, which is just stop doing things that you're not engaged in. If you don't feel engaged, stop doing them. You know, put your energy where you feel engaged and you'll be surprised how the universe, uh, um, you know, uh, comes to you and, you know, meets you, meets you halfway or all the way uh, in that scenario. But the other is, and he has this famous diagram where, he shows like a person and then arrows going out, out, out of this circle. And that's doing multiple things. And then there's one long arrow. And I guess the theory is that if you put all your energy into one thing and did it well, you'd get very far as opposed to diffusing all your energy. So I think that there's an element of that, you know, what, and I'm saying about what you just said made me think about this idea of diffusing energy versus you know, having, uh, um, you know, concentrating or focusing uh, energy. And so I guess my takeaway as an individual is if you're just randomly going through all these different tasks and you're not actually making an impact or adding value, you know, then that's, that's diffusing it. Your ability to multitask is directly correlated to your ability to add value. So if you can have multiple arrows that are going far out from you, great, you know, but I think you have to first be able to learn how to make your uh, uh, engagement have impact. And as you learn that, what that feels like, you can, you know, expand your, uh, your, 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 your dimensions that uh, in, in which you could participate. Yeah, you're you're saying you want to make sure that you're being productive in the things that you're managing and you shouldn't be spending. I mean, it's again, it's another nod. It sounds like to summarize what you're saying, you shouldn't be spending a lot of energy doing things that you have no competency or interest in, because that's really a way to diffuse a lot of energy. Yeah, or or, or, in, or the, in which you're making any impact, you know, so like just to checklist off all these tasks all day long, at the end of the day, you know, you're not going to have much to show for it, you know, so you want to make sure that it's very mindful in, in terms of achieving something. 